So the first category I want to talk to you about um, is the intermediate math section. This is for grades three, four, and five. Remember, again, content is lined, aligned to Common Core. Intermediate is just referencing the level. You're talking intermediate grades, but these are specifically for grades three, grade four, grade five. And um, there's no placement test. Basically, if I'm a third grader, I start with intermediate three. If I'm a fourth grader, I go to intermediate four. If I'm in fifth grade, I go to intermediate five. Saxon math also, I would like to mention here, is written by, um, is has some John Saxon uh, help with that one. John Saxon's name is on that series. This is all done by Stephen Hake. So John Saxon's name is nowhere on this except in title only and is published by Houghton Mifflin. This is a 2012 copyright. The components are a little bit different. So if I buy a kit for intermediate three, four, or five, I'm going to get a textbook. I'm going to get a power-up workbook. I'm going to get my testing booklet and I'm going to get a solutions manual. These are what the publishers consider to be required to do the course. I can do this course, all the instruction is in the textbook for the student, and then I have these books. Now, and the other thing to remember is these are for students who can transfer their work onto their own paper. So I have the problems in the text, and I write them on my own paper, just like I would with any other classroom type of textbook. Now let's assume you have a student who's not ready to put their work onto, onto their own paper. Maybe that's a problem for them. Maybe they have tracking issues or whatever. You can get something, this is a separate purchase, not included in the kit, because we're not going to assume a student needs it. It's called a written practice workbook. It has the exact same problems that the textbook has, um, but gives you a place to work out the problem and to answer the problem so I don't have to do it on my own paper. This helps out with students who have that issue. The other book I'd like to talk to you about, and we get a lot of questions on this one, it's called an adaptations workbook. Now adaptations is for the student who maybe struggles a little bit with concepts. Maybe they read the problem in the book and it really doesn't make sense to them because of the way it's worded. So what this book does is it takes the exact same problems that I have in the textbook. They put them into this workbook. You'll notice it's much thicker because there's more explanation for the problems. There may be clues, there may be hints on how to answer the problem. This kind of levels the playing field for that student who maybe takes a little bit longer to get a concept. Maybe they need a little bit better explanation. So this is something that can be purchased at all three grade levels for those kids who just need a little bit more. But remember, this is separate. The written workbook is separate. What you're getting in the kit is the textbook, the Power Up workbook, and the tests, and the solutions manual. Now let me tell you about the books that are included in the set. So a Power Up workbook is how you start your lesson. You're gonna find this at the beginning of every lesson, and it actually says Power Up. When you open the student book, uh, the Power Up workbook gives them a place to work, and you're gonna find a fact practice at the beginning of each Power Up section. Then you're gonna have a jump start. You're gonna have a mental math section. Very important because Saxon has that nice balance between let's learn the facts and let's work on our mental math and our critical thinking skills. And then the bottom section is usually a problem solving section. You'll find this, this is done every day, every lesson, and the page is printed right here in the Power Up Workbook. Tests, just like in the Saxon Homeschool Edition, the tests start at lesson 10 and then every fifth lesson afterwards. And this is where they get to take their test. They don't have to do it on their own paper. They're giving them the pages to do it. Solutions, step by step, worked out problems for the problems that are in the book. I will tell you, no answers for the Power Up workbook. There is an assumption that you won't need it for this. We're talking third, fourth, fifth grade level work, so you shouldn't need an answer key for that. Um, you will notice, however, and I should mention this because we will get a question on it. In the front of the Power Up workbook, it says, uh, there's a little section to the parents, and it says something like, um, the answers to these problems are found on an answer key CD. That answer key CD is not available on the homeschool market. So something to keep in mind. Um, that, that is, it's not something that's available. 
but you probably aren't gonna need the answers. I'm pretty sure most of our parents can figure all of that out. But you will have the solutions for the important problems that are in the book. Resources available. A lot of times we have parents will say, oh, do you have something that will help me teach the lessons? They're not really comfortable with math. And there are only there is only one available, and it's called a Saxon Teacher CD-ROM, in this case, Saxon Teacher DVD. Uh, it says lesson and test DVDs. This is not a video DVD. This is a DVD-ROM. Pop it into your computer, and you're gonna see whiteboard illustrations. You're gonna hear a voice explaining what you see. And then um, you'll also notice, notice that it says with lesson activity PDFs. These are sheets that are gonna be referenced in the lessons when you get to the different activities within the lessons. It will say print out activity page, whatever. You can print it out here. If you don't, if you feel really competent and you don't want to buy something to teach your lessons, you can also download these activity PDFs at our website. Now this resource is only available for Intermediate 4 and Intermediate 5. One has not been made for Intermediate 3. Um, just something to be aware of if you're looking for that little bit of extra something to help you teach.